class today. We thought we'd do a few short videos on answering some questions that users have had from us uh, that we've received over the last few months. So here we go. We're going to take a look at loading floor plans first. <clears throat> Here's your main menu. We're going to go to a site survey. We're going to create a new survey. When you create a new survey, you get the, the floor plan image loader screen. And here it's showing you basically some things that work and some things that don't work. If you stick to loading floor plans from the gallery, you'll always be fine. Typically that's what I do. I know people have different uh, file manager apps loaded on their devices and that's fine. Sometimes they'll work and sometimes they won't. The reason for that is because different developers will use different paths when they do their apps to point to where these files are located. And if they don't follow uh, your traditional Android guidelines for a file path, then we won't be able to load it into our app. So if you always stick to the, the image gallery, you'll be fine. So I'm going to click on load floor plan here. I'm going to use the gallery. I've got a floor plan here that I downloaded to this tablet. I'm just going to select that. It's going to load it up. <clears throat> Once it's loaded, you can pinch to zoom and pan. You can make it as little or as small as you want. That does a pretty good job of handling image files. There are some limitations based on the device itself and what, how much memory it's got in it. Uh, but typically, my experience is that you can load just about anything as far as image size goes. <clears throat> Once you've got a floor plane loaded, the first couple of things you're probably going to want to do is place some network icons or register signals for your wireless networks. So I'll go ahead and touch on those both real quick and then we'll get into that more in some different labs. Um, your icon here, the little circle with the crosshairs on it, that is showing you that you're ready to register sample taps. And that is done by double tapping on the floor plane and the location which you're actually standing. I'm using a Galaxy Note, so I've got a desk pen. It works really well. <clears throat> so if I was going to sample the wireless network, all I have to do is double tap where I'm standing and it'll create a bare cone trail and record all the signal strength. And the color is associated with what my readings are for my associated access point. Um, I can also jump up here in the uh, settings, uh, right here the little wrench. And in here I can change my icon and tap size uh, if I want bigger or smaller. If I hit OK on that, you see how much smaller they are. That's nice if you have a real dense environment and you're trying to take a bunch of taps. You can end up with your circles just covering the area so much that you can't really see what you're doing. So it's nice to be able to make them smaller. After I've taken some samples, you can go into your icon gallery, which is the little man holding the flag here. And if you open that up, then you get lots of different icons that you can pick from to put on top of your floor plan. Just kind of give you an indicator where equipment is at. Um, to place those, just like registering taps, you select the icon you want to use. I'm going to select the access point here on top, and then you'll just double tap and that will place an icon. It will also open up the device manager page which has more detailed information about that hardware that you can fill out. We'll get into that in another lab. I'm just going to hit cancel from there. You can see there's my icon right there. Um, you can place as many as you want on here. And then pan and zoom accordingly. Uh, you also like with the signal taps you can go back into the wrench and adjust your icon size and make them larger or smaller. Depends on how much stuff you got. That's pretty much it for floor plans. Uh, like I said, if you have problems loading the floor plans, if the image size is too big, you can always adjust the resolution. If you have a huge environment, maybe it's a big manufacturing facility or something like that, you may be even better off breaking your floor plane up into two different floor planes and doing two separate surveys. Um, one of the things that we get a few emails about is, you load a floor plane and you end up just a black screen. Uh, the floor plane didn't load properly. And pretty much every case where we've got into that is because somebody was using uh, file image loaders, something other than the gallery. Um, if you hit your menu down here and do a change floor plane, let's say I try to load something with Astro. I selected a different floor plane and said it didn't do anything. It didn't load it, it didn't change it, and it, you know, it should have. 
That's because uh, right, the reason I had extra on here is because that's one that somebody told me about that's having problems with, and you know I was able to see the same problems. If I didn't already have a floor plan loaded, what would have happened in that case is it would have just been a black screen. It looked like the app would hang up or something. Matter right, of fact, let me jump right here and I'll show you. We'll do a new one. Use Astro again. We'll go into pictures and screenshots. And see there, I tried to select that and it just it took me right back to here. Um, at the end of the screen, it looks like that. It says black. Looks like nothing's happening. You can't. There's nothing you can do. That that's the reason why. So make sure you load your floor plans off the image gallery, and you should be good to go.